In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly shift from one design style to another, leveraging the power of ChatGPT by using a conversational prompt to create a transformative prompt to get you to exactly where you want to go with a new design style. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, so here we are with our original image and our original prompt. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through a little bit of a flow chart to quickly show you the kinds of things that you could do in ChatGPT if you want to shift design styles and to do it in a conversational tone. Okay, so before we go off to the side, we're going to go straight down. And when we go straight down, we're going to end up with a design style that is more optimized for light colored shirts. Specifically, it's going to use a lot of black. And the way that we want to accomplish that is we need to make sure that we have the right kind of shift. So all I did was I asked, how can I ask for a shift in the prompt to emphasize black color to be suitable for light color backgrounds? And what I got back was essentially a prompt to transform this original prompt into a different prompt that creates a completely different image. So if we look down here, we have a completely different image. It's still Einstein being a barista, but it is optimized for a light colored background. So the way I approach this with this very simple ask and then taking the results and then creating another simple ask by asking for this and then providing the original prompt got me a completely different prompt with the same level of detail and it created a completely different design style. And this is essentially a meta prompting technique that people use when they're using AI coding and that type of thing, but we can use it on a small scale very simply by layering it with conversational prompts. So now let's slide on over from this original image and then see how we can shift it again to a completely different design style. So this one I wanted to be pretty much the opposite of what we did when we shifted it down into the vintage ink type of style. And again, we asked for how we can make a shift of the prompt in order to be cyberpunk and rebellious. And it gave us this rewrite instruction, which we can take this rewrite instruction and then apply it to this original prompt and then move it into a completely different prompt here where we've got Albert Einstein being very crazy and memey in a completely different type of style. So I'm going to punch in here so that you can kind of get the full effect of what we were able to accomplish with single sentence adjustments. And we started with this very primary color, heavy, simple design. And over here, we've got one that is optimized for light color designs. It looks pretty good, would work a little bit better on Etsy. And then we shifted it again to be this very meme Gen Z rebellious type of vibe. And this all stemmed off of a single sentence asking for a way to shift the design to be a certain feel. And then we took the output that ChatGPT gave us and then we fed it back in with the original prompt and we ended up with these very different images. Okay, well, I hope you found that helpful. Honestly, it's a lot easier than you think it is to use prompt engineering techniques to get different results in ChatGPT. And this meta prompting is something that you can definitely learn how to do on your own on a small scale. You don't have to have it be super complicated. You don't need to create a bunch of custom GPTs or style guides. All you need to do is start with a good base prompt and then ask for how to do an adjustment and then apply that adjustment to the original prompt. Okay, so now you have these images. How do you process them? If you want to learn my method of how to very quickly process images using Vectorizer AI, then check out this video over here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in that video.